Here we're going to prepare the leaf top papers and fabric uh, for the Crimson Poppy pattern. It's part of the Stella Maris series. So we're going to open up the pattern to page 9 where they have the leaf top instructions, Group K. And you can see right away that there's one page of NP757 and these need to be cut apart and put into bags and they'll tell you bag K1, bag K2 and those are the actual unit papers that we're going to sew the fabric to and then there's template layout sheets as well and it gives you the bag numbers they need to go in. On the top of page 10 there's another graphic and it's page NP758 we have one of those and again we're going to cut them apart and we're going to put them in the correct bags. So I've already done that for you and then you can see that the next thing on the page is the graphic for the colors that you're going to be using. So I've got all my bags ready here. K1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to start preparing the fabric. I've already put all the correct papers in the correct bags. So the first fabric we're going to cut is our K1 fabric. If you bought a kit, you're going to have a 14 inch piece or a half a yard piece actually of that fabric. What we need to do on the top of page 10, it tells us to take the K1 fabric and cut and stack four strips that are three and a half inches by 42. So I've got my my four strips that are three and a half by 42. And I've got them all stacked, opened up and stacked. So I've got my bag one and it has two template layout sheets in it. I need the one that says K1R. And I have my bag two and it has this one template layout sheet in it and it needs, it's the K1L and I need that as well. And so according to the instructions, I'm going to lay them out. The K1L ones are going to be laid out like this. And then it's going to, after I cut that, it's going to spin this way. So let's just go ahead and start doing that. I don't want to use my salvage, so I'm starting a little bit from the end there. And I'm just going to chop that like that. And I'm going to take that end off there. And now I need to turn this piece. And I can snug that up pretty close there. So these are the K1Ls. I'm just going to stack them with a paper clip on them and they're going to go back into bag number two. And then we're going to do the same thing with the K1R pieces. We're just going to place that on there. I'm going to go this way so I can cut it right. I'm a righty. And then we're going to turn the piece. This ends up being scrap. Oops. And this goes back into bag one. So 
So the next template we're going to use is the other template that was in bag one, and it is called template layout sheet number one. It has K1L and K1R pieces on it. And if we look at our book, our fabric K2 uses the template layout sheet number one, which is this. And so I take two six and a half inch strips of my K2 fabric. And I have them already cut here and I have them stacked and they're laying with the right side up. It says that on our template layout sheet as well, stack right sides up just to remind us. And it's going to get laid on a diagonal like this. This is the straight edge and this is the straight edge of the template layout sheet because we need we need that bias to, to be able to curve right when we piece it. So there it is one time, and we're going to have to do this four times. Ooh, bad. I didn't close it. <laughs> okay, and then this is the last one. Which means there's a big piece of scrap here. Once you get all of them stacked, all eight pieces, try to stack them as close as you can on at least one of the raw edges. Uh, we're going to paper clip that template to the top on each side and cut this apart. So we're going to cut, the cut lines cross each other, so we're not going to cut all the way. We're going to start on cut line one, and we're going to stop when it hits cut line two. Right there. And then we're going to go turn it, and we're going to do cut line two. I think I need a new blade. Going through eight layers and this blade isn't absolutely new, so I think I'm going to change out my blade. This is when I'm going to come in and just do it with a pair of scissors here because I don't want to mess this up. go. All right, time for new blade. The K1Ls are going to go in the K1L bag, which happens to be bag number two. Now that's ready for piecing, and then the K1R bag goes into bag number one. The K1R piece goes into bag number one. So bag one and two are done. And that was our fabric one and two. 
So our K3 fabric, it says to cut eight three and a quarter by 42 inch strips of our K3 fabric. And I have those already cut. And I have all eight of them stacked. I just want to chop off that salvage at the beginning. I don't want to use the salvage. And I need to use my unit K2R template layout sheet number three and K2L template layout sheet number two. So those are going to be in bags three and four. So I've got all my pieces stacked, my three and a quarter inch pieces. There's eight of them. It's deep. And now I'm going to take my template layout sheet number three. And it's going to go that way. And then template layout sheet number two is going to go that way. And I'm going to cut these out eight deep. I've put a brand new blade on my rotary cutter because this is re really thick. Just keeping it real here. And uh, I'm going to paper clip each one of these sections so they stay together after they're cut. First I'm going to just cut them apart. Oh, it's like butter! <laughs> I love a new blade. And you wonder why you didn't do it earlier, right? Not a problem at all. Okay, so now I'm going to do my cut line one. And my cut line two. And these go back into the K2R bag, number three. This will be next. This is scrap. Line one and two. And these go into bag number four. That's also where I put my graphic into bag number four because we don't piece them all together until after we're done with all the paper piecing. So the next and last is our K4 fabric and it tells us we need four one and a half inch strips stacked right sides up and I've done that and we're going to take our last template layout sheet number four and we're going to lay it down on here twice So I'm going to cut it one time. I'm going to take off the salvage. And then I'm going to lay it down on top of the other, the rest of the piece. And that's scrap. And now I can lay it on top of each other so we have all the layers. We've got eight layers here. And we're just going to cut on these cut lines. I'm going to hold them together with paper clips so they stay together when we put them in the baggies. And two more. You 
You can see I'm not being super exact about this. It's because these are templates, not the actual pieces. The actual piece that you use ends up being just this little grayed out area in the middle of the template. So there's not a lot of fussy cutting going on here. So the K2L pieces and the K2R pieces. So the K2L pieces are going to go into the bag number four with the K2L units. And the K2R pieces go in bag number three with the K2R units. And those two bags are ready to piece. So we've got all of our K bags ready to go for the leaf top. So those are done.